Peace to the 12. Y'all see the title. I'm pretty sure I'm going to call this video. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. And as you can see from this thumbnail, this brother right here by the name of, or he used to be known as Yerushalayim, he did a video titled, Why I Left the Israelites, Brother Yerushalayim, formerly. Now, this popped up on my feed like three weeks ago, which is when the video came out. It popped up on my feed, but I didn't watch it, and I didn't watch it still because I really don't care. Um, just let you guys know, I never watch any videos on people that say, Why I Left the Israelites. First of all, you can't leave the Israelites because an Is the <laughs> Israelite is a nationality. An Israelite is a nation it's a race so you can't leave it that's like a chinese man say why i'm no longer chinese i mean which you know biblically he's not even but you get, you get my point right so that's number one but basically he's saying why he fell out the truth all right and i don't care to know his reason just like i don't care to know the reason for anybody else on why they fell out the truth but i decided to do this video because this brother though he didn't wake me up he did wake up a lot of people he did wake up a lot of people, man. Like he was, uh, he was crucial in waking up Aliyah. I saw him make this post, which made me say, you know, let me go ahead and do this video. Aliyah Ivory Yashrael made a video, he or a post. He said, "All praises to the Most High. His videos awaken my spirit in 2016. The Most High uses people and some will not keep the faith." And he included a scripture that I included in this video, which is Ecclesiasticus 37 to 19. There is one that is wise. It teaches many, and yet it's unprofitable to himself. All right? <laughs> and that's true. He he taught many. What I mean by taught many, he helped people find out an identity. Uh, he did a video eight years ago. He did a video eight years ago titled Hidden, Ident in the Hidden Identity of Blacks in the Bible. It got 2.2 million views, man. And he fell out. He fell off not too short after. He fell off not too short after because... Uh, someone told me he said he was, he left the truth eight years ago. Well, this video is eight years ago, so he could only been in this thing probably two, three years. I don't know. Uh, I had heard a rumor he was part of the IUIC, but I really don't know. And that, that really don't matter in this case. But he left just like a lot of people leave. And I'm just going to get some scriptures showing that he left. And what he really means is why I left the Israelites. Well, I can answer that. The same reason why everybody else leaves the Israelites because they lost the spirit. All right, the Most High took his spirit from them. They lost the Holy Spirit. All right? See, there's a prayer in Psalms 51 that you brothers and sisters should be uh, reciting uh, daily or uh, uh, in your prayers. It's, it's Psalms 51 and verse 11. Cat, or it's the whole thing, the whole chapter. But verse 11 is what we're going to focus on. I'm going to start at Psalms 51 and 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. All right. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with, my free, with thy free spirit. Then will I treat, teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. So the only way that somebody can teach transgressors thy ways and sinners be converted is if the Lord has given that man the spirit. All right. And once he takes that spirit away, guess what? You fall out the truth. It's not rocket science. Okay. I'm going to give you some examples of people that got the spirit taken away from them, man. Let's go to 1 Samuel 15 and 1. Remember Samuel, or King Saul. King Saul was anointed to be king over Israel, but guess what? The spirit was taken from him. 1 Samuel 15 and 1. Let's get some examples. 1 Samuel 15 and 1. Samuel also said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore hearken thou unto the voice of the words of Yahweh. All right. So he had to hearken on to the voice of the Most High, which he didn't do. You can read about the account of him not getting rid of the Amalekites like he was supposed to do. Um, and as well as other things. And guess what, man? Because he disobeyed, this is what happened with Saul. Uh, 1 Samuel 15, 28. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord hath rent this king, the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and hath given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. All right? So, so uh, Saul was rejected. All right, we know King David got the spirit. All right, uh, read about that in First Samuel sixteen and thirteen. 
Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. So the spirit of the Lord came on David after that. All right. Now David was, uh, he, he had the spirit within him. All right. But guess what? Verse 15 or verse 14. So like you. First Samuel 16 to 14. But the spirit of the Lord Yahweh departed from Saul. And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So the Lord, the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and he was left with an with a, uh, evil spirit. And Saul service unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. So the Most High took the spirit away from him. Another example is Judas Iscariot. Remember, Judas Iscariot was one of the 12 disciples, man. Or one of, one of the 12 apostles. Matthew 10 and 2. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. The first, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and, La and Lebius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. So, out of the twelve apostles, one of them was Judas Iscariot. Don't you know that, don't you know the apostles had the ability to cast out devils? You can read about that in Mark 3 and 14, right? And he ordained twelve that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sickness and to cast out devils. So they had the power to heal sickness and cast out devils. All right, the same 12. And guess what? Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him, and they went into a house. So Judas Iscariot was one of the 12. He had the ability to heal sickness and cast out devils. And yet, guess what? An evil spirit got on him too. Luke 22 and 3. All right? Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. So, guess what? He, he turned traitor too. He fell out, man. And he became a traitor, man. So, really all it is, anytime someone falls out the truth, like I said, I don't need an example. What it really is is the Lord took their spirit off of them, man. And I'll and I say this too. If you ever look at somebody, when they come out, when they're in the truth and they come out the truth, their eyes begin... To have like a dark shadow over them. I remember an Elder told me that. I believe it was Gabar. And when he told me that uh, in a video, I, I started to see it, man. All right, people's countenance darkens when the truth comes out of them, man. And you see, right? Now, uh, and the scriptures tell you that, Matthew 22 and 14, for many are called, but few are chosen. Few people are chosen, man, but many are called. This brother was called. He decided to start doing the work. He got 2.2 million views, and then he fell out, man. Simple as that. And I've seen it happen before. Another example for you brothers who uh, might watch uh, WFI, uh, the Watchman for Israel, uh, the Cold Cuts channel. There was a brother, I can't remember his name. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top. But he was like the guy that was like behind creating the Cold Cuts channel. And he fell out the truth, man. All right, but you see the cold cuts is still up. But look, he fell out the truth, man. And he wanted to be a rapper or something like that. Some, some, some madness, right? And that's a little backstory of how I came into the truth in the first place. I came into the truth, I say probably either 2018 or 2019. I really don't remember. Prior to that, I was already watching people like Chronicles of Judah. And he was letting me learn the history that everybody didn't come from Africa and black history was hidden. But I didn't really come into the truth until... A video popped up on my recommended by Watchmen for Israel. It was a brother by the name of Naquan, which is the leader of the Watch for Israel. And I'll never forget the video was titled, uh, Stop Playing Yourself. Yes, I'm talking to you. And then that video literally woke me up. And then I started to uh, read the scriptures. Then I got to Deuteronomy 28 and it all rang, uh, made sense to me. And then I learned even more from people like uh, Elder Tahar, Aramlab, and Gabar when I watched their videos. And that's how I really fully came into the truth to make me start doing this channel, which I made this channel in 2020. So that's a little backstory of me. So I didn't wake up from this guy. But I do remember his video got reposted by a channel that's also terminated called Bible Unlocked. I remember that. So that was just a little backstory of me and how I came into the truth. And I'm going to get a couple more scriptures on people falling out, man. First Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Like so. Like so, right? Some shall depart from the faith. Um, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. Now, devils. Now, 
to my knowledge, he, he gave heed to the spirit, to the doctrines of devils. Uh, from what I hear, because I didn't watch the video, but brothers told me he started getting into the uh, the sciences, the so-called sciences. What the scriptures speak on that? We're actually going to get a scripture on that, uh, where it says uh, vain babblings and false science. Let me get that real quick, man. So he fell heed to the science spirit, the so-called science spirit, the vain false science spirit. Let me click this real quick, man. Bear with me one second. Salakia. Yeah, 1 Timothy 6 and 20. Let me go to it. Here we go. This 1 Timothy 6 and 20. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. What's committed to thy trust? This knowledge, man. This knowledge, wisdom, understanding given to us by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Uh, through his only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of who is ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Now, 1 Timothy 6 20 says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called, man. And I believe from what people told me, this brother fell off. Due to probably some type of scientific uh, discovery that he has. Some scientific revelation he had, allegedly. Right? First John 2 and 19. Uh, like I said, they, they were not of us. Really, they were not of the elect. And you should pray that you stay in this truth to the very end, man. Because a lot of people fall out every day. Uh, a lot of people get sifted out. First John 2 and 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us... They would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us, meaning they were not in this thing. They were called, but they were not chosen, man. All right, and it says, for they had been of us, they would no doubt have commit, continued with us. I remember I saw another video that the elder Tahar did from GMS. He, uh, it was a while back. He, he made a video. I don't even remember what that video was called, but he said, uh, if somebody leaves a camp or an organization, right, they fall out with them and they leave them, um, that doesn't mean they should stop doing the work. If they were truly sincere and they really believed in this thing, they would still continue to do the work regardless of if they left a camp or not. But see, what happens is a lot of people that leave organizations, not all because some people do do their own thing, but a lot of people that leave, they just fall out entirely. All right, And like he said, if they were truly in this thing, they would have kept doing the work regardless of if they left. Uh, an organization for a disagreement that they left a congregation, man, which I totally agree with, man. Revelations 2 and 5. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. This is the words of Yahweh Shire. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. See, a lot of people, they fall out gradually. They stop praying. They might stop reading every day. They stop uploading the videos. They stop going out there in the highways and byways or all those above. Then the next thing you know, they're back into the world. And every and almost every time when someone goes back into the world, they go right back to where they left off. I Meaning they go right back to doing the shit that they was doing before they ever came into the truth, man. I done seen that too. All right? So, and what does it mean, remove thy candlestick? Mean minute, you'll lose the light, the light of this truth. All right? We were enlightened. All right? By the, by the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim El to understand this thing. Hey, and if, you, and if you're not diligent, you don't want to keep that candle burning, hey, it's going to leave you, man. You're going to be right back in the world. And I'm going to end this with uh, Matthew 13, the parable of sowing seed, right? So let's kick it off. Let's get Matthew 13, 1 through 23. It reads, The same day went Yahweh out the house and sat by the seaside, and the great multitudes were gathered together onto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables. A parable is a riddle. Saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed some seeds, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. And the fowls came and devoured them up. All right. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of the earth. All right. Meaning they weren't rooted in this thing. All right. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. So a lot of people get these seeds. The seeds is this truth, man. But when the seeds begin to grow, various things, various elements, various elements, basically squash the truth out, man. That's what he's saying. 
which is going to break down. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. I believe this brother was the one that fell in the, th the thorns. But others fell into the good ground, and some, or excuse me, and others fell into the good ground and brought forth fruit. Some in hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. All right, that's them doing the work. That's that's the fruit. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That's because the Most High has blinded some people, as it is written, and he has gave them a spirit of sleep, eyes they cannot see, ears they cannot hear. Um, For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Which, like I said, the brother had it, and he lost his candlestick, man. Therefore speak I to them, but whosoever or therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see it not, and hear and they hear not. See that? Neither do they understand. So some people just won't get it. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. I just went into that. <laughs> For this people's heart is waxed gross. And their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Yeah, if the Lord was dealing with them, if their heart wasn't hard, they would be able to understand what we'll be kicking, what we we'll talking about, man. Right? But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. And have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear, and have not heard them. All right, now this is the point of the parable of the seed sowing. Right, let's get this. This is uh, Matthew thirteen and verse eighteen. Right, hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. All right, when any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth the way that which was sown in his heart. This is he that which received seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and an arm of joy receive it. Yet hath he no root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. See that? See, a lot of people might say, oh, you're crazy. Stop believing that. And they might start believing him. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe this isn't it. See that? He also that receives seed among the thorns is that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the world, word and he becometh unfruitful. So he was not the one in thorns. He would be the one that would, uh, he would be the one that didn't have root. He wasn't rooted. But he hath received, but he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it. Which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundred four, some sixty, some thirty fold. All right, and that's the point, man. That's 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 a good, that's a beautiful parable. I'm gonna end it with Matthew twenty four and thirteen. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be in saved. So the point is to endure unto the end. Don't let nobody take your crown from you. Don't let nobody take away your candlestick, man. All right, hold on to this truth, man. I think there's a scripture where strive on the truth till death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Exactly. So, like I said, another one bites the dust. Ain't no point in leaving this alone video. Uh, with that, I say peace to the 12. I want to give all praise, this honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who is commonly known as God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Savior, who is commonly known as Jesus Christ. And with that, I say shalom, which means peace. You people listen and learn, you brothers doing this work, truth and sincerity, and to you elders for doing this thing for me. I'm out. Peace.